In 1664, unable to summon any significant resistance, Stuyvesant surrendered New Amsterdam to English troops, led by Colonel Richard Nichols, without bloodshed. The terms of the surrender permitted Dutch residents to remain in the colony and allowed for religious freedom. In 1667, during negotiations leading to the Treaty of Breda after the Second Anglo-Dutch War, the Dutch decided to keep the nascent plantation colony of what is now Suriname, on the northern South America coast, they had gained from the English, and in return the English kept New Amsterdam. The fledgling settlement was promptly renamed, New York, after the Duke of York, the future King James II and IV, who would eventually be deposed in the Glorious Revolution. After the founding, the Duke gave part of the colony to proprietors George Carteret and John Berkeley. Fort Orange, 150 miles 240 kilometers, north on the Hudson River, was renamed Albany after James's Scottish title. The transfer was confirmed in 1667 by the Treaty of Breda, which concluded the Second Anglo-Dutch War. On August 24, 1673, during the Third Anglo-Dutch War, Dutch Captain Anthony Colby seized the colony of New York from the English at the behest of Cornelis Evertsen the Youngest and rechristened it New Orange, after William III, the Prince of Orange. The Dutch would soon return the island to England under the Treaty of Westminster of November 1674. Several intertribal wars among the Native Americans and some epidemics brought on by contact with the Europeans caused sizable population losses for the Lenape between the years 1660 and 1670. By 1700, the Lenape population had diminished to 200. New York experienced several yellow fever epidemics in the 18th century, losing 10% of its population to the disease in 1702 alone, 